Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about the M. Palima. Okay, let us now learn some important points about M. Palima. What does M. Palima mean? Here, wherever there is lung, so this is the lung and we have the pleural space, right? Okay, in the pleural space, if the pleural space is filled with pus, then we call it as empyzema. That is, if pus is present in the pleural space, then we can call it as empyzema. It is most commonly seen in conditions like pneumonia. In pneumonia, we can see that the pus gets accumulated in the pleural space. The other causes can be whenever the patient has trauma or if there is any infection which comes from outside the thorax, if there is infection outside the thorax or if there is any thoracic surgery. So most common cause is pneumonia or it can be some trauma or if there is infection from outside the thoracic cavity or if there is any thoracic surgery, through all this the infection can enter the pleural space and in the pleural space the infection will uh, increase and it will result in pus formation in the pleural space. Sometimes if you see this, if this pus which is formed it might become slowly organized and it will form a wall. So a wall is formed once the pus is organized, a wall is formed and this wall will be seen indenting the lung. So if you see here, if this is the lung, so if there is this type, whenever the pus is formed in the wall like this, okay, there is thick wall is formed, it becomes organized and a wall is formed and this will indent the lung, it won't. It, it is not lying above the lung, but it is pushing the lung downwards. So it is indenting the lung like this. Okay, so here you will see that it is almost round or oval shaped. Sorry, round, it is almost round or oval in shape and it has a wall. Uh, and it is a collection is noted. So there is a wall of collection is noted that is a collection which is completely enclosed by a wall is noted. And all this is forms like an organ. All this is nothing but an organized empyema. That means the pus which is present it becomes so organized uh, that such that it lies in a um, in a place and it forms a wall around itself resulting in this kind of empyma. So if you see the picture here, you can see this encysted collection which is seen. This can be empyma or it can be encysted plural collection also like plural effusion. Encysted plural effusion it can be or it can be empyma also. For this to know whether it is an empyma or encysted plural effusion, you should go to the history. So, if there is any infective etiology, then you can suspect empyema. If there is no infective etiology, then you can suspect encysted pleural effusion. But in empyema and encysted pleural effusion, in both these diseases, the uh, picture on the outside is almost similar. Thank you for watching.